Well, hello, hello, everybody. I'm Steve Reinhars, Chief Executive Officer of Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions. This is your weekly update, your weekly video update. And boy, oh boy, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to run past 10 minutes, but I'm thinking that there's a lot happening right now that you're probably going to want to hear. And uh, let's get right into it, okay? So the first thing is, is just taking a look back at the stock market this week, and it is uh, Thursday, 3 o'clock Eastern when I record this. So I don't know how we ended up, but as of right now, uh, the stock is um, whatever. It's it's well above uh, what it's been for most of this year, and volume, of course, is well above as well. So those are really uh, great indicators that I'm really happy with. Now, what I want to share is that um, you, some of you have probably seen that we refiled our S1, which is what we use to finance a lot of our activities as we head towards our goal of operational positive cash flow. With the given price action and volume action, it is possible that over the next couple of months, we obtain enough money through that vehicle that we have enough cash to pay for everything that we need to pay for in order to achieve operationally positive cash flow. So that is, I think, a massive piece of information that I want to share with you um, because obviously it puts us in a great position. So I want to share that with you because that's notable and that's a very positive indicator uh, by any measure. So that's the first piece I want to share with you. Uh, I'm also going to uh, right now talk about some of the highlights from the press release that we issued on Friday, May the 10th, because there were some good and notable items in that press release that we're going to add some color to right now. All right, so I've pulled open the, the press release in front of me. Now, everybody, what we had to do is we had, there was a something at the SEC and they required that we uh, file a new S1 with updated year-end financials. And so the past several weeks, me and our various service providers have been working an incredible amount to get the updated audited financials complete. Now, I want to add some color as to why that's a big deal, okay? It's so critical for micro cap, small cap, mega cap, whatever cap level you're at, to be able to share with the investment community that you have a solid record of producing audited, fully audited, fully SEC reporting financials and statements in a timely manner. Since we are board of directors of one, me, uh, yesterday evening, Wednesday evening, I had this call with the, with the, with the two auditors, uh, out of Solinger. And these guys have been with us since the beginning and they know us and they know our business and they come up to Detroit to do inventory accounts and so forth. Um, because we invest a lot in these relationships because these relationships are so important. And after we went through a few notable things, on the financials that they wanted to share with me or make sure that I was aware of. Um, I said, hey guys, I said, you guys have been around the block a few times. I said, what are, uh, what are a couple things that you can share with me? Like what, you know, you know we're targeting NASDAQ in two years, the time's gonna go fast. I said, what are the, what, what's on your mind? What would you tell me if I asked you the question? And they came back with two things and one of them was file on time. Have your paperwork in order. Be ready to go. Be a real serious company. And I think we have that box checked, led by our CFO, who's now tenured here with us, who's very weathered in terms of knowing everything about everything now, his supporting con uh, controller. Uh, so we've got a really good team, and that's backed up from our outside accountant that's been with us since day one. Our auditor has been with us for a few years. Our attorney has been with us for a couple of years. So... Uh, we're in really good shape and we're lucky to have that. And we certainly work hard to treat our service providers very well. And the second thing that they said to us was sales, get more sales. I'm like, okay, okay, I got that. I, I spend, I spend time every day on that. And I have a whole team devoted to that. So the good news is, is they didn't, you know, share with me anything that I didn't know or wasn't aware of or wasn't already doing. So I think that's kind of 
interesting, and fun to share. Get sales and do your filings on time. Okay, we're doing that. And talking about sales, that RMR number increased, you know, roughly 500% year over year, right? And I'm looking at that number now, right? I know we've got the 500,000 RMR or so in the tank, so to speak, waiting for deployment or being deployed as it is right now. And, you know, I look forward, I say, okay, we've got nine months left in the year. You know, what number are we going to end up at? But I'm going to spend a few extra days and I'm going to write uh, a very detailed business description, management discussion or whatever they're going to call it in the in the filing to really give as much detail as I can as to where we're going and where we think we're going to end up. So that's really cool. So sales are up, gross profits up. Um, there's stuff to deploy in the tank that we're busy doing. Obviously, the new Rios. Uh, in the coming weeks, you'll see we'll talk about our air. Uh, just leave it at that right now. We've got new products coming out, evolved products coming out. R and D went down, went significantly down. We we uh, you know had to do some right sizing last fiscal year as I've as I as we press released and as we shared. It was a very interesting year for us. On the one hand. You know, as I said in my quote on the press release on Thursday, I said, you know, it was a challenging year and we I, I just I'm so proud of our team and I'm so proud of our investors and fans and followers that are just been rooting us on. It does make a difference. So um, read that press release from Thursday. I won't bore you with more of the details. I did want to mention because uh, I wanted to brag a bit about, you know, the significant increase in recurring monthly revenue run rate. So I think that's something to celebrate as well. But the reality of it is, is for me is, you know, our head is down so hard working along with our team that anything that we celebrate, uh, we celebrate um, momentarily. You know, we really have a focus on achieving positive operational cash flow. And that's, you know, until we achieve that, yeah, we'll do a, a back slap every now and then. But Really nothing more. Let's hit that point. That is what our focus in. Uh, 97 full-time equivalent employees right now. Coming up on that magic 100 number that I really uh, am not ready to hit yet. We are not ready to hit yet. We will, but um, definitely no more hiring until uh, we bring on, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars more of monthly recurring revenue, you know, or several, uh, a few million dollars more of annual recurring revenue. So, that is good stuff. And although on this call, I might seem very businessy and matter of fact, it's just because, you know, I slip these calls in between doing businessy matter of fact kind of work. So I think I've carried that, that, uh, that attitude into to the, into today's weekly video. Let's talk about a couple of the press releases that went out because Doug suggested that I add a little bit of color around them. And I'll start with Nightingale. So Nightingale um, Security, they do drones, fantastic technology. I encourage you to check out their website. It's mind-blowing. Um, Jack and I have known each other for several years now. That press release went out on May the 9th, on Thursday, May the 9th, the day that I'm recording this. And, um, you know, for us, it's a low-level lift. You know, it's, uh, we're, we're, you know, I'm here supporting Jack as he's, you know, flying around all around the world, talking to governments and large companies about securing large spaces. And he has two very interesting U.S.-based clients that we're strategizing on how to get us in. So from our perspective, he needs us because we help fill out a complete solution. And we need him because, you know, we want drones and we need drones and we need that relationship. So it's a very, very good relationship. As I mentioned in the press release, I don't see financial impact this fiscal year. I'm really hoping that we can have a positive financial impact from that relationship next fiscal year. Now, Commend. Commend was a press release that we put out on Wednesday, May the 8th. And uh, this I'm going to share kind of three highlights. Number one, in my opinion, they have one of the world's best audio. A lot of the parking machines that you'll go to when you go out or whatever, um, you know, if they have a call help button, that call help button, when you connect with somebody on Audible, is their technology. So the big business there, and they do a great job at it. And I wanted access to it. So that's that's a good thing for us. The next thing is, is they use distribution. So they go through uh, Honeywell, ADI, um, and Westco as, you know, the large distributors in the security industry. So 
there's some potential and some opportunity for us to kind of work together to get into distribution, which is interesting to us. On the flip side, we have a large dealer network as well that they can have access to. So we're going to work out and see how we can mutually help each other in that space. So Commend does OEM work for North America's uh, prominent, most prominent blue light system manufacturer. So it kind of gives us an in to get into that space as well with Rad Light My Way, which of course is one of our dearest projects and products that we're most passionate about. So I don't even know where to go from here, guys, but financials, read the press release. I'm excited about it. And uh, I don't want to spend too much time taking a victory lap because we've got more work to do, but I'm definitely proud of the team and how we navigated last year. And then building some partnerships with some substantial companies is all good stuff. So, okay, that's all I got, everybody. I'm getting back to it. Hope everyone's having a great weekend and a great week. Thank you so much.